The mysteries of the sipping duck explained. Fuzzy head, sealed unit tube going down into water. Low pressure zone in the head created. Water gets sucked up the tube. Overweight, overweights the head, dips forward, starts again. Okay. Wet in the nose. As all you people know, evaporation means heat loss. I'm sure they do. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Don't mock my visitors, man. Okay, yes. See, when this starts cooling down and starts evaporating, it'll cool the head down, creating a low pressure zone at the top, sucking up the water up the tube. There we are. See that? Ooh. Goes up the tube, up the YouTube, up into the head, which is hollow. Starts filling up the beak. YouTube. Still filling up. Just when you thought it's not going to work. I said just when you thought it was not going to work. Q bird. Come on, birdie! Action! There you go. Water dribbles down, reweights itself. Now, obviously, when this beak is dipping into water all the time, this process will be sped up. As I will now demonstrate by saturating this ridiculous thing's head with my art line pen. Part placement. Just to prove that it does not need a bucket of water. And cut!